I feel really bad. And then I looked at my phone and it said that it's December 8th, which means it's Pink Friday. He's not an actual bar. Black actually. Friday? I was banging Black Friday. Black okay. Friday. Black Friday. <laughs> Pull my shoulders out the socket. Like, out the frame. And he was like, oh, you look good. I was like, what? And I was like, yeah. Like, what are we talking about? He said, oh, they kind of look like, kind of like a barcode. Good morning, good night, good day to you. Top of the morning. I don't know what you want me to say, but I was about to go to bed. And then I looked at my phone and it said that it's December 8th, which means it's Pink Friday, which means the queen, Nikki, came out with Pink Friday 2 today. And in case you guys don't know, your girl is a bar. I've been a Barb for as long as I can remember. Like, Nikki has been, like, my first, like, favorite artist. Like, I love Nikki. I don't put anybody on my pedestal. So, <laughs> anyway, but favorite artist for sure. I love Nikki. So, I'm so excited for Pink Friday, too, that I have to stay up. <laughs> Naturally. Responsibilities. Yay. I'm so excited. So, I'm in my guest room and I turned on my little, like, record player, which is also, like, a Bluetooth player. And I'm about to bang Pink Friday, too. Yeah. I know the dogs are about to be sick of me. Um, I can't, obviously, put it... I'm not about to be copywritten by Nikki. Because <laughs> I don't know if she won her coin right now. She just came out with it. But I will let you guys know what I think of it. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited. In the morning, I'm going to go get coffee and I'm going to bang some of my favorites that I find tonight like oh, this has put me in a whole good mood for the weekend so happy pink Friday I look a mess but we ball anyway okay I'll see you guys later <laughs> all right babe so it is now one something it took me about an hour to thoroughly listen to pink Friday too I am so tired and I'm going to be so tired of the morning but you gotta live life, right? Oh my gosh. I'll give you guys like a little review in the morning. So on the next clip, you'll see me in the morning. Not looking a mess. It's gonna be better. And we can chit chat. Um, I have to, what do I have to do? I don't have to work until like 1.30, but I do have to take my mom somewhere in the morning. So I have to get up early. And that's why I know I'm about to be tired. So let me go ahead to bed. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. And I can't wait to listen to this album in the car. Anyway, we're gonna talk. I love you, good night, and have a pink Friday. All right guys, good morning. It is morning, and Dale and I are in the drive through at Burger King. But anyway, I am currently listening to Pink Friday too. We'll talk more about it um, later, and I'll try to play some of it. Copyright, okay, I guess whatever, but anyway. Um, Off yeah. first listen, the first two songs, she she wrote both those songs. She took one from Billy Eilish. She took one from Notorious B.I.G. So, I mean, I mean, I don't know. You feel me? The, the meat biting is it's hard to think. But, so. He's not an actual Barb. So Yo, what you mean? We're not Black actually, Friday? I was banging Black Friday. Black okay. Friday? You mean Pink? Yeah, we're Pink actually Friday. not going to listen to what he has to say, but... Rock, Go rock, off. Like a dungeon dragon. <laughs> Isn't that what that's it? Is this black box? <laughs> yeah, they handled it, man. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Hey babes and good morning. It is now later on in the day. I have done lots of things. I've run lots of adulting errands, like actual errands, not just going to Target and getting a Starbucks type of errands, like actual adulting and Secretary of State stuff and like getting taps for my car and like all this like boring stuff and I'm tired and I have to go to work and I'm cranky, but we ball, I guess. So um, I'm sitting here. I'm eating my breakfast that I just showed you guys. Um, but yeah, so today I have to go to work. Don't I always do have <laughs> full time job with this part time job? <laughs> I'm not proud of myself though for uploading. So even if this is not the best vlog, I'm just happy one is going up. Like, I'm not gonna put trash out, never that, but I'm just happy to 
make sure I'm sticking to the vlogmas schedule. And I'm like planning my time out. Like, okay, actually this isn't the best planned out time because I'm kind of like ramming it in there, but it's a life, like things happen, but I still am trying to make sure I get these videos up. Like life behind the scenes right now, it's crazy. But we gotta do what we gotta do. So um, I just did all those errands. I'm eating my breakfast right now. Um, let's see, I'm having my last iced coffee, my last cold brew of the week um, because I am now out of cold brew officially. So I just ran out of it. So basically that cold brew lasts me about a week every time. So I basically restock every week. So not in today's vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit boring, but oh well, <laughs> uh, this is my vlog. We're gonna do like a restock of like household items. Like I need coffee, I need creamer. I need whipped cream. Remind me to get whipped cream because I'm gonna be, it's like sad without it. I don't really like it without it. <laughs> so please remind me to get that. Um, I'm gonna do like a Sam's Club run to like get some like food and stuff for the house as well. And like plugins and stuff, just like a home restock tomorrow. But today I have to go to work and I'm gonna work all day today. And I have been up since 6 a.m. I am exhausted. Exhausted is an understatement. Yesterday, I took it upon myself to do something at work that was very strenuous. And the men at work had already expressed that I should not be doing it. But like, I'm like, first of all, I could do everything. You know, like, and then also, I'm not one of those people, because you guys know I'm a manager. I'm not a manager who likes to like, bark orders at people and not do it myself. Like, why would I tell you to go do this like, gross job and I wouldn't do it myself? So I wanna make sure people don't feel like that, you know? like. Carly's pulling her weight as well. Like she's not just telling me what to do. But girl, I done pull my shoulders out the socket. Like out the frame. <laughs> my shoulders hurt. It's like I've been heavy lifting at the gym and I ain't been to the gym in a month. Girl, my back hurt. I'm just like, so I'm super sore. I'm just cranky. I'm tired. I'm sore. I don't want to go to work today. I have to be at work literally all day. But what's getting me through is tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off. Tomorrow's gonna be a fun day. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the movies. Tomorrow I'm gonna do like all the home restocking stuff. And I'm going out to dinner with my family too. I'm gonna have a great day tomorrow, but I just gotta push through this. Also, I just wanna say, not every Vlogmas video is going to be super interesting because this is my actual life. I don't have a super interesting life because unfortunately I just, like I have to go to work, you know. I'm I work full time. This isn't, you know, unfortunately not my full time job yet. So like I have to like squeeze this in between family, my fiance, my dogs, my job, keeping like care taking care of my household. Like I have to like wedge this in every single day for 25 days. So sorry if not everyone is like the best. And sometimes my mood might be off because days are days and like today I am sore and I'm cranky and I'm sleepy but we bought anyway <laughs> and I'm gonna keep uploading because I do not want to give up on myself like this is like a personal thing like I, I stop every single year and I can't do it this time if everything isn't the best but I'm trying I tried to plan out some videos where's my iPad I tried to film out plan out some videos like on my calendar so I know what videos I'm uploading on what day and all that, um, if you guys have any requests, comment them down below, but your girl is just a regular girl, regular girling and trying. I'm just a girl, you guys know. That's gonna be stuck in my head now. I'm just a girl <laughs> in the world. But I literally have to go to work in like a second. So I'm about to finish eating my breakfast. It's getting cold. I've been talking so long that it's literally getting cold. So I'm gonna warm up my breakfast, eat my breakfast. I am about to play Sims because unwinding, okay? Unwinding before work. Um, because all this adulting, I just wanna play a little bit of the game. In case you guys don't know, I love playing games, like all types of games. But anyway, I'm about to play Sims on my PlayStation. Um, and yeah, and then once I'm done eating, I'll come back, I'll chit chat with you guys. I know I said I will go over that Pink Friday album, so we're gonna get there. And yeah, I'll see you guys later because I don't want cold sausages. Okay. We are now in my bathroom. I am about to um, get ready for work. So I thought I'd bring you guys in here. I don't know where my clean holder is or my clip. Anyway, I'm about to get ready for work. So I'm about to do 
Oh, this is my makeup. That's what I need my hair ready. Getting dressed, like ironing. We've got the clothes hanging up and stuff, so like it's fine. So we're just about to do our makeup and today. So I start off with moisturizing. This is my so Marseille, my La Roche Passe Triple Work Hair Moisturizing Cream. And that's just what I use to moisturize. Also, I have to oh my god, I need more more foundation. Hmm. Because I was gonna go to the store before I came home. Oh, that's gonna be on the looks for tomorrow. Don't let me forget, cause look at me. Um, so this is the foundation. My foundation is not all this easy. I know that. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, it's not fitting me because there's nothing in there. So we will compromise. Yeah, whatever. Uh, um, so I start with my brows. I do my brows differently than I used to. I and conforming to what the kids are doing. So I do like the little soap brow thing. So I let this just spoolie from Elf and then on my other side, so pencil. And then so I wet this like soap, I don't know, you get a wet girl. And then you like rub the spoolie in it and you do your brows. So yeah, I don't know, I like the look because I don't have brows. I say it all the time. Um, my brows have grown more in the past like couple years. So like, this is what they look like, which is normally <laughs> not what they look like. It looks like I actually have something going on, which is cool. So anyway, I just kind of like spoolie them upward first. That's the most important part to me. And then I'll kind of like try to set them and then I'll try to like form them that way. I'm not sure if you got it. Can't even tell what I'm doing, but just know that's what I'm doing. Um, and this one and this one. It's basically like laminating your brows. But anyway, here's yeah, so what's the final look. Also, my skin, she's she's having a moment. So TMI, I had like, you know, obviously like my cycle, and I broke out really bad. And like the little scars are there. I don't pick at them or anything. And this usually doesn't happen, so I'm just like, hello? Is it because I just turned 26? Like, <laughs> what is happening? So I need to find some skincare. Just, girl, just have a moment, but it's all right. Take the spoolie and kind of just like shape these hairs at the top so that they can like go downward and not stick straight up moisturizer on my lips while I'm doing the rest of my makeup so that when it's time to do my lippy my lips are ready but anyway let's start with the only foundation that we have um this NYX Total Control Pro it might not even be my color we'll just bronze it up we'll just bronze it up today oh well I'll be I'll be all right for one day girl Whatever, I'm gonna be okay for one day. Oh, this is. See, this is why you need to make a list of the things that you need, and you need to get those things. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it, but anyway, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer. Girl, it's Friday. You know what I mean? Everybody about to try to be shopping and stuff, so work is going to be busy. Why? 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 Let me be all right. Let me be right. The only thing about retail is like, when you're not in the mood, it don't matter. Like you have to be in the mood. Like you have to be on. Like you have to have a new customer service voice and your customer service face no matter, even if you're having the worst day ever because people expect you to be jolly and happy, especially during the holiday times. And if you're not, they would leave bad reviews and call corporate and stuff like that's crazy because it's not fair. If you guys think about it, like at your regular job, you can go in. You can have your goal too. You can do your work on the computer, you can go home. But not in my line of work, baby. You gotta you gotta perform. You gotta make everybody happy. Um can't have an off day. Like it's it's crazy. It's I feel like if people were more understanding that we're all just regular people too. Like my whole life does not revolve around hanging up these shirts and providing you, like, you know, like, I don't make these, <laughs> I don't make the clothes, 
I don't like the term policy. Like, if people can just understand those things, everything will be better off. I also feel like more people should have to work retail so that maybe they won't treat us so badly. Like, I, I can count. No, I can't count. I can't keep track of how many times I have been disrespected. And you just gotta stand there and smile about it. Like, it's insane to me that people think that's an appropriate way to treat people. Because I would never go to anybody's job and treat them any type of way. Like if somebody came into your job in your office and start yelling at you and cussing at you, you would think they was crazy, right? But nobody thinks customers are crazy when they cuss me out. All over that t-shirt that you couldn't return and it's only $2 back. And my Anastasia bronzer. And let's hope this saves the, the look, girl. Oh, this is my look. Listen, I think it's just one of those days. I don't think that, um, I don't think that this is a day for me. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna claim that because what you say is what's true. So I'm not gonna claim that. Today is my day. It just was not my morning and that's okay. And that's okay, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right, we're gonna make this a good day. And then once this day is over, we get to be off. We get to be off work. Okay, I'm excited. I'm using this e.l.f. Uh, this is fat, like a crayon, okay? It doesn't really do what needs to be done, but I, I don't like to not have brows, so I have to, but I much prefer my Anastasia. My brows, and I just thought about this time, I was working at H&M, right? And girl, I go to the register to help one of the cashiers, and the person that they're helping, they're trying to do a return or something. So, and like, it's, he's not supposed to do it. So you would think he should be being nice to somebody, right? No. He said to me, he was like, oh, you like your eyebrows like that? And I was like, yeah, like, what are we talking about? He said, oh, they kind of look like, kind of like a barcode. Tried it, tried it, tried me up and down. It was hilarious though, but I'm just like, and no return for you. <laughs> Like, we're not doing that, like, in my face. Bro, that's funny. Anyway, I just finished my brows. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter, and I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, I don't wanna do any brush. But I always use the same lip liner. This is the next Club Hopper lip liner. I need to get that on. We literally just need to go to the store. <laughs> I just need to get everything. I need so mad. Like, cause I know I'm gonna forget these things. Maybe I should watch this clip back. But I'm just putting on the liner and then I'll figure out which lipstick to put on over it or gloss but yeah it's the look until I put a lipstick on I will get it in a second but yeah that's basically it I just wanted to really even do my makeup because after I do my makeup I have to edit this here vlog and make sure that's up before I go to work and I'm going to work in like an hour so I have to hurry up so this is look this is the same makeup look I pretty much do every day. Other than that, I usually add blush, but I'm not feeling blushy today. Especially after I added this foundation that just was not for me. I just wanted to like rise it up. I don't know. I think it's good. And if it doesn't, who cares? Am I right? Am I right? I do not care where those work. All right, guys. So I'm back. I fixed my hair a little bit and I grabbed my lippy. So this is the NYX, um, the NYX Sweaty Lipstick in Soft Spoken. And that's what we're gonna put on today. I have been using the MAC, the MAC Can You Tell lipstick, which is like my go-to every day. But this one is a little more, I don't like tippy toes, you guys see me? Um, this one's a little more color. I don't wanna go for something a little more interesting today. Ooh! Oh, I like it, I like it. We love it, okay. We have to tidy up. Oh my gosh, I need to start editing. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so our makeup is done. I think it looks good. I don't know. But um, I am about to edit. I'm about to edit, and then I think I have to leave as soon as I'm done editing and posting, probably. So I think this is going to be the end of this. But before we go, let's talk about Pink Friday 2. All right, guys, so like I said, your girl is an undercover barb, I guess. I don't think I ever, I don't think I'm talking about any of my music tastes at all, but I have loved Nicki since Nicki was Nicki, like, grew up on Nicki, so I'm a barb 
for life. Um, never put any celebrity, you know, too high on a pedestal. The only person who deserves to be on that pedestal is who? Say it with me. Okay, Jesus, thank you. But love Nikki. Love Nikki so much. But um, I was super excited for the Pink Friday too because I love Pink Friday original and it was like such a time to be alive. And like most of those songs are still like my favorite. So I'm like, for her to be coming out with a Pink Friday too, like she must think that this is like the same quality as Pink Friday original. So I'm like super hyped because that that music like right there was like my fave. So I'm like, okay, it's a part two. I really hope that it is. And I just like to say it is to me. It feels like Pink Friday again. Like it feels like those times somehow I don't know anything about music, but like the feel of it feels like the songs that were on Pink Friday original. So I don't know. I, I think she did a really good job. Um, my favorite songs Let's see, um, the first one, what was the name of it? I don't remember. The one with the, why well, am I in a rush? I'm in a rush, out of work. Um, but uh, the first one on the album, so that one, the one with the Billie Eilish, um, when the party's over sample, because I love that song. I love that song from Billie. And when I heard it sampled on that song, and then when I heard Papa Bear, girl, I was like, this song is it. So I can definitely see myself having that one in rotation. Um, I think Barbie Dangerous, was the one, I don't know, he said, it was something with the word dangerous, I love that one, and F the Club Up. I think those were my top three. Anyway, I loved it. The feel of the album was definitely giving me nostalgia because I'm like, wow, like this is like, it feels like when it was released before. I'm not sure if the hype is gonna be as, of course you can never have the same hype as you did um, like for your first one, you know, and people are probably going to be comparing it like I obviously am to the first one. So I'm not sure if everyone's going to love it, but I think it was overall a great body of work. Shout out to Nikki for being in the game as long as she has been in the game and like just being a queen. Hey, love it. Um, I don't know. I like her positive energy. I don't really look much into like all the drama and stuff i don't i'm not on twitter and i'm not like doing all that stuff i just listen to the music so um and see how she is when i see like interviews and stuff but that's why i say never put anyone on a pedestal you don't know these people but i do love her music and um the character of which she is is lovely so um <laughs> like she was the first like not black her, like black female like celebrity that i was ever like wow like we could we could do these things you know because that's like the time i was growing up in and like like her wearing like all the pink and like the harajuku stuff and like stuff like that i was like wow like it's okay to like like these things and be into these things so she in a way helped mold me into the colleague that i am today i'm not saying nikki raised me i know we're her sons but like <laughs> um yeah i'm just saying like she contributed and she she really helped the girls out i'm one of the girls that she did help out and um i'm a barb who went to college as well <laughs> anyway i like it if you like nikki check it out if you don't like nikki check it out um music is music um anyway love you guys <laughs> for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i know it was short but like i said every vlog is not gonna be amazing my life is not amazing i have a job i do all these lackluster things on a daily basis so not every day is going to be amazing that's why i do weekly vlogs <laughs> because i can pick the highlights of my week um there's not always a highlight of every day but here were the highlights from today <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy the rose vlog is going to be way more fun because we're going to be doing lots of stuff so please stay tuned for that please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe before you go to the candy crew it's the only thing i'm missing here is you i love you i gotta edit and i'll see you tomorrow bye guys happy friday Thank you.